Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one, and it's a card with 3D butterflies, and I hope you can see little speckles in the background. So I used to make a card like this quite frequently when we had a stamp set many years ago called Gorgeous Grunge, and I loved the sort of speckled random background. We don't have that stamp set anymore, or really one similar to it. So I made my own, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So this card is Purple Posy card stock with Gorgeous Grunge, no, Gorgeous Grape. I'm trying to say the stamp set, Gorgeous Grape as well. And my, um, die cut butterflies and this is from the uh what are they called brilliant wings dies so this is the new butterfly bouquet that's the early release same color cardstock and then sahara sand within it as well just to get a different color so you need to take your piece of cardstock cut it in half and score it in half and i like to take the paler to be my card base cut it in half and score it in half and then you need two layers to go over the top and I wanted quite a big border so this one is one and a half I think it's one and a half centimeters yes one and a half centimeters shorter and narrower than my my card blank so if you work in metro in imperial maybe half an inch shorter and narrower and then I've got a white layer to go over the top of that and that one is just half a centimetre shorter and narrower than this one. So again, if you work in Imperial, quarter of an inch, maybe even an eighth of an inch. And then I've got my scraps for my die cutting. So first things first, I need my dark ink, which is Knight of Navy. So this one is Seaside Spray and Knight of Navy. So I've got my Knight of Navy here. And bear with me one second. because I forgot to get my new one out. I've done so much Wink of Stella work recently that the one I've got isn't going to allow me to do this technique. It's almost run out. So this is how you prep one. You take off that little circle and you bring, and then that works. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a little block and I'm gonna press it into my Knight of Navy to get myself like an ink palette and this is actually how you prep your wink of stella because it's not going to start running you have to push the liquid through so it's got push written on two sides and you just squeeze it you can see my fingers are, are moving until the ink starts running down the chamber which you can see it's just beginning to run down there and when you get a nice blob there we go now, normally you'd stick that on a piece of paper, but it would be wasted. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to flick, flick, flick. and hope I'm not going to get big blobs. And flick some more. And hopefully you can see those blobs. It's just a pretty little effect. And then to clean up your ink, your Wink of Stella and your DIY ink pad, you just wipe until it is completely clear. And obviously with a technique like this, it's going to take a moment or two, but you just keep wiping until it's clear. Easy peasy. Let me clean up my block tissue so that's ready to put an, a stamp on this is a mess so I need to get rid of that and I can start layering up before I then die cut so you don't need as much wink of cellar as I did on that but obviously it was a useful opportunity to restart or to start a new one and also show you how to do it so that one's there and then I'm going to do my die cutting so I want my um, I'm going to go with the big one because it's here so I've got 
plate number one, plate number two, and a clear plate. And I don't want enormous um, butterflies across my page. So I want three that are going to layer. Those three would layer quite well. Can you see those? So there's three of them there. What I'm going to do I want my biggest as the dark my medium one to be this Sahara sand and then my smallest to be this pale blue okay so I'm going to put those on and then another clear plate over the top and oh <laughs> let's do this again because these ones like to be upside down Because these are detail dies, they much prefer being die cut upside down. It just means you don't have to run it through the machine 15 times to get the cut. Um, and that's standard for all detail dies. It's not exclusive to us. one there's the other and there's my third so I'm put those dies away as well clear everything off my desk and that's popped all the bits out straight away so is that one this one with a bit of a flick will do them all Get the last couple of bits out with my nails. And I can start putting it together. So my little, my layers are going to go like that. So I'm going to grab my mini glue dots and apparently stab myself. Oh. So a mini glue dot into the middle of that body and just layer it over the top. another mini glue dot onto this one and layer that one over the top and because we used Wink of Stella I'm going to give a little bit of glitter to my uppermost one which hopefully you could see it's a little bit of shimmer on there and I'm just going to bend up the wings a bit Very sweet. Let's bring in my card base and I'm going to lay down some glue. I'm going to take tear and tape just a little bit. And I've got my linen thread here and I'm just going to unroll a load and create some loops. And this is very much what I used, I would make a lot of cards like this with what became known as poodle loops because I did them so often on projects. Sometimes it's nice to go back to what we used to do. So that has stuck to that adhesive that I've put down. And then if I run, I guess oh, I'm going to have to squash it down. Now I spent time lifting it up and now I have to push it, push it down again. I'm going to take a couple of glue dots onto the body of this one, pop it into place and that's cut like I say that's covered that adhesive I put down. Elevate my card and that's very pretty. I think it's lovely and it's a nice little technique with, that, with all that speckledy going on. I hope you like it too. Thank you ever so much for joining me. I'll speak to you very soon. Bye!